Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Aryan, and today we're talking about how to recover RSV files from your Sony cameras. Now, if you turn off your camera too quickly before it's got time to save a clip properly, it can basically save it as a corrupted file, which would be an RSV file, and it really sucks. So the last wedding I shot, I had a 22 minute long clip that I was recording of the bride and groom's speech at the end of the day, and the camera's battery was about to die, and while swapping that out, I quickly stopped recording and turned off my camera right away to take out the battery. Not a great idea and the file corrupted. The good news is that a lot of the times an RSV file can be recovered. It's just most likely not gonna be free. So what I recommend doing is exhaust all your free options first, like running it through VLC Media Player or something like that. If you've exhausted all the free options, then try this as a last resort. I'm not affiliated with this website I'm about to mention. This is just what worked for me. So I went to a website called Fix Video or Fix.Video. I'll link it down below for you guys. Again, I'm not affiliated with them. They don't pay me or anything like that. But I basically uploaded my clip to this website and then they ask for a reference clip. So basically a clip that's similar to the one that was corrupted. So I recommend doing a clip right after or right before the corrupted clip. And this process took quite some time because my clip was very long. It was a 22 minute long clip it was 28 gigs roughly and so it took about an hour to upload but after it was up it only took about five to eight minutes to process and they basically gave me like a standard definition watermarked preview of what the fixed clip was going to look like it was like very bad quality but I could see that, you know, that was what I shot and that's what was broken. And they quoted me 35 US dollars, which is roughly 50 Canadian. Now, again, this was a 22 minute long 4K 30 frames a second clip shot on my Sony a7 IV. And that's what they quoted me. Your results might vary depending on your clip. It might be much cheaper or much more expensive. And I was willing to pay that because this was a very important clip for my deliverables and I couldn't really go without it. They immediately sent me a link where I could download the fixed clip. I did that and the video clip looked like this. Now, of course, as you can tell, this is not fixed at all. It's full of artifacts and I can't use this, right? Can't see anything, it just doesn't work. But in the same email, they actually mentioned that if this happens, green artifacts all over the screen, just use the software that they also link in that same email. Use that, download that and re-encode your video clip. So I did exactly that. I ran the clip through this encoding software one more time and it came out looking perfect on the other end. I have no idea why you have to do this extra step, but hey, at the end of the day, I got the clip I needed. And for 35 US and 50 Canadian dollars, that wasn't too bad. It was a 22 minute long clip. It was a bit of a headache finding this resource, but when I did, Honestly, their customer service was pretty painless. So I would highly recommend trying it out. And if your video comes out looking all green and weird, definitely run it through that encoding software one more time. It worked for me and I'm really happy with it. You can't really tell that it was you know, corrupted or whatever. The quality is still 4K, it's still amazing. And I delivered it to the client and they couldn't tell either. So yeah, I would highly recommend you try out Fix Video again. I'll link it down below. I'm not affiliated, not sponsored or anything like that, but I will link it down below. Uh, I just really hope that this help somebody else out there and that's all for me today if this video helped you guys out don't forget to leave it a like subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys next time